Okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the Malazan content. And I really do hope you are because today marks another Malazan video. Um, and it's my first Esselmont review. Um, so I'm super excited to get into it. I touched on this book a little bit in my TBR video. Um, but like I said in that video, very pleasantly surprised. I think I actually went in with too low of expectations. Um, I didn't go in with the attitude that it was a Malazan book. And really regardless, um, it was, I was probably gonna enjoy it for simply that reason. However, that's not the only reason I enjoyed it. Esselmont, um, I'm pleased to say, is a very um, good and competent author, author. He doesn't lean on Erickson's writing. Um, he doesn't really lean on the world Erickson created. Um, and rather, you can tell he has his own voice um, and contributes um, his own aspects to the story, which was all great. Um, I kind of was going in with expectations, like I said, probably a little bit too low, um, but my expectations were really more, um, okay, it's not gonna live up to the series, so don't get your hopes up or anything like that, but rather, um, like I keep saying, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it more than lived up to, it maybe doesn't stand as tall as The Book of the Fallen, um, I don't think any books I'm going to read from now on are going to, um, but nevertheless, it was just so great being back in the Malazan world, um, reading a story about um, and references to characters that I know, learning a little bit more about the backgrounds of characters um, that are in the Book of the Fall in the main series, but we really don't get to see much of their background at all. And then honestly, just um, the two characters that this book follows. Uh, learning more about them. Temper, they're obviously, uh, if you've read it, are Kiska and Temper. Um, and I was a really big fan of Temper's storyline in general. Um, but before I go too far, I do want to mention the first half will be spoiler free um, in my review. And then if I move into spoiler details, I will let you guys know that that's the transition and, um, happening in the video so you guys can click away. Um, but I'll separate it into halves like that so um, you can still enjoy the video if you haven't read the book yet. Um, so yeah, where to begin here? Let's see. Um, like I said, it although it was uh, took place in um, obviously Malazan, uh, it was he Esselmont has his own distinct writing style. So um, Erickson, obviously, if you're familiar with the main series. Uh, is really, really heavily uh, writes in a postmodern way where he's jumping around between a lot of different characters, um, not holding your hand, not really explaining anything. And Asimov similarly doesn't come out and explain much to you, um, but uh, where he differs, differs mainly, at least in this book from Erickson's writing, is you're really only in the heads of two characters and their stories are pretty linear and easy to follow compared to sometimes, you know, the million characters being thrown at you in the Book of the Fallen. So that was almost, I don't want to say it was refreshing because I, that's one of the things I love about the main series um, is that writing style, but it was nice. Um, it was a little less work, if you will, uh, not nearly as dense. Um, and it's, that's reflected in the page count as well, not only the format, um, but it's only 300 pages and you can get through it easily in a week and that's not even like reading every day. Um, you know, if, a long Sunday, you could knock it out easily um, or definitely a weekend read too. Um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised, like I keep saying, uh, with Esselmont's, write, Esselmont's writing. Um, he definitely has his own unique voice um, and thankfully I enjoyed it. So um, I'm super excited to get into his other novels um, of the Malazan Empire, see what they hold. I'm more just super excited to see, uh, kind of get into the nitty gritty, um, see all that Malazan has to offer beyond the main series. Um, that And it's actually great timing to get into these Ethelmont books because obviously I'm doing my, if you've been paying attention to my other videos, I'm doing a reread of the main series. So they're gonna dovetail Nicely, hopefully. Um, hopefully I'll plan it like that. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited if you guys can't tell. But as far as if you haven't read the main series, which I'm sure most of you have, especially if you're clicking on an Esselmont review, I think gen typically most people get into the main series and then they'll branch off into Esselmont after they've um, become lovers of everything Malazan. <laughs> 
like me. Um, but you don't necessarily, like, you, you could read this book on its own. Um, you don't have to have read all 10 books or any book in the Book of the Fallen. It'll give you definitely, it'll definitely give you more context. I think you'll enjoy the story more. Um, but at the very least, I would recommend at least reading Gardens of the Moon, um, at least the prologue, because the events in this um, are, they tie nicely with the events in the prologue. From what I can tell, and this is um, spoiler free, n still spoiler free, so you don't have to worry about spoilers. But from what I could tell, I just reread the Gardens of the Moon prologue um, before starting the video, is it appears that the prologue of Gardens of the Moon might have taken place like a few months prior to the events here um, that take place in Night of Knives. Um, so yeah, and like I said, he, he definitely has his own writing style. It's more straightforward. It's a bit easier to follow. Like I said, a lot of that is due to the fact you're only following um, two main characters, Kiska and Temper. Um, I don't, I'm torn. He does good character work, but the Kis Kiska particularly, I wasn't like super invested in. Um, she, I just didn't feel super connected with her. Temper, I really, really loved. Um, he has some great flashbacks and he, to be fair, he has a little bit more of a glamorous background. Uh, Kiska is you know, young kids, so she doesn't have like a, uh, a, a crazy backstory or anything like that. Um, whereas Temper is a, a veteran of the Malazan Empire, so you can imagine how, um, how he has some stories to tell and you do learn um, some really cool stuff as the story goes on. Um, and you learn about some characters that we don't see a ton of in the Book of the Fallen, so that was cool. Um, they get talked about a lot of, in Book of the Fallen, but you don't actually get to you don't really know a lot of their background so it was nice to get a little bit more of that um but yeah i was super super happy with it um like i said far far and away blew uh blew my expectations out of the water um and i am excited to continue reading the novels of of the males and empire um, like i said the crimson guard that's the next one return of the crimson guard um, I'm a big fan, and I think most of us are, um, of the Crimson Guard in the main series, so it'll be cool, once again, just to learn more and more about the series as a whole. So, my biggest takeaway, and I'll actually keep this review entirely spoiler-free, um, maybe I'll talk more in-depth spoiler details, actually, when I start doing my reread videos for Gardens of the Moon. I think I can tie those in nicely, so I think that's what I'll do, um, and I apologize for doing this a bit on the fly, but but yeah, I'm excited to learn more and more about um, Malzan as a whole. Like I said, um, excited to learn uh, more background information on the Crimson Guard um, and really dive in there. So that's my plan. Uh, like I, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the Malzan content. Uh, it's not going anywhere as far as I can tell. I'm absolutely loving um, being back reading Malzan. Uh, I mentioned in my TBR video, I'm, I'm now like 15 pages into um, Steven Erickson's The God Is Not Willing. Absolutely loving that so far. Um, I think that's going to be right up there with the standards that the Book of the Fallen, Fallen has set. So I'm super excited to read more of that um, and can't wait. And I'm just um, excited to continue making these videos. Um, and that brings me to, um, don't forget, if you're so willing, uh, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out. I just looked at my analytics the other day and like 95% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So I figured I should do my due diligence and remind you guys. So thanks for checking it out. I'll see you in the next one.